Hello guys, so today I'll be folding my katana. Um, because of the size of the paper and everything, uh, I'm, I meant to fold a katana, but if you fold it from like a regular printing paper, it doesn't come out that big, so it could be, it's like a little dagger size. It's smaller than my gladius actually. Or shorter, I meant to say. Um, what's it called? Tanto? Something like that? Yeah, so you might want a bigger paper if you want a sword. Yeah, so first you need a square piece of paper and you're gonna make a 8x8 grid. So you're going to fold it in half like this, okay, um, this is the same way as my uh, Sai or my AK fold maybe, okay, so you're going to fold it in half again like this, and you're going to bring all the edge to the center crease line twice, okay? Or you can do it one by one, but I don't know, I think I like this way better. So maybe I'll put a uh, link in the description for my origami sai. Okay, so now you're gonna fold <coughs> um, this one side over. So you're gonna bring, you're gonna fold these two sides together. And you're gonna fold it kind of like a fan. So, uh, make sure there's a line in the middle like that, because I usually cut squares out of this. So if you're making it without the little line in the middle because um, that's how you make a square then make that square in the middle and fold it together like a fan down the middle like this okay because she already made like the crease line and everything and you just have to Fold that together like a fan. Okay, like that. And you're gonna leave um, these two columns alone, or one, two, three, four, like this section right there. Okay, and you're gonna do the same thing and fold it up now from the bottom. Okay, so you're gonna fold these two corners together. Okay, uh, I don't know if we'll be able to see it. So you just have to follow the crease line that you just made, okay? So, uh, fold it up to there. That, that four column right there. Okay, you're gonna fold it just like a um, a paper fan and bring these two corners together okay, same thing on the other side I kind of want to follow 
these crease lines you know, that you just made. And you're gonna fold that up like a fan that starts from both sides, I guess. Okay, and now just bring it up like that. Okay. <sighs> then hmm, I don't know which way is better. Maybe maybe top to bottom or bottom to top. But you can fold it anyway, so fold this up or down like this. And you, t you just have to keep on stacking it up. Okay, fold it up like that. And fold these in half. Okay. So. And fold it. Across, then across, and same thing here. And across. Okay, and the force of the paper that's spiraling up will keep will force it up. So you just have to fold this the bottom like that and then the force of the spiral will keep it up but it, it's still kind of small like so you might want to like tape it a little if you like so so the same thing here like that and you want to fold just the bottom square in half. You see that crease line there? Just fold that in half. Then from here, you just want to shape out the um, the handle and the blade and everything. So bring the edges towards the center like this. And it will be kind of hard to towards the center like that because yeah so it, it, it might look ugly like right there but oh well yeah that's about it so let me just finish Shaping up the sword. So bring the edges together and just make sure you don't get that edge. Yeah, just right up to that point. Yep, so here is my katana. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day.